Hey fellas, if you don't want to listen to my rant about the issue, the problem itself, just go straight in the timeline stamp mentioned here on your screen. Hello dear colleagues, this video is on topic on how to prepare data in ExoCAD for transfer to Blender for Denta for splitting your bridge into a bar and overtop structure. Particularly this video is for a very small topic, a screw channel. Mihail Tainika, one of the creators of the Blender for Dental, on the Facebook group made a post with a screenshot of structural failure of the file and next to anatomical surface. What seems to be a problem here? Is it the software or user related issue? And many Blender for Dental professionals commented it like Jonathan Burke, Roberto Pegraro and uh, many many others also John Wilson made some statements I would like to share my opinion and knowledge regarding this topic on ExoCAD because I got a pretty long veteran career on ExoCAD and maybe this will help you guys who are preparing those anatomy files in ExoCAD to avoid having problems as I have already mentioned that a lot of guys already were speaking in the comments section and talking about the issues, most of them were recommending to use a screw channel design function, which is actually meant for PFM, PFZ uh, prosthesis, it means uh, porcelain layered. It's like strengthening the screw channel, but yeah, it's you could call it a small fast workaround. But in some cases it may be a little bit problematic because if you choose a screw hole design with pretty thick walls you may get an interference with your anatomies. Then not an issue if you are just making a first board bar and only afterwards you will be fine tuning your anatomies, it's not a problem. But I would recommend just to make some small fixes on your anatomies to mill everything at the same time, the both parts, just to work a little bit more on ExoCAD and then generate a pretty nice anatomies and without any failures next to the screw channels and split it on Blender. So, few tips from my side. Nevertheless, when you are finishing to design your case, would it be on the one jaw or the bow jaws, the full mouth rehab, the lower or the upper? Please check where are your screw channels situated. If those screw channels are coming through the flat even surface that's not a big issue but if you got a half of the screw channel protruding through the anatomy and half through the soft tissue or on a very aggressive angle through the one anatomy or standing in interproximal area or going through a neighboring tooth and on the implant position tooth I would highly recommend you first of all to generate a unified one file that generate virtual wax up after generating a unified file you will be more safe from such an issues with the screw channels and you can try generating a file for milling and printing be sure to note it that you need to generate a optimized watertight file As you can see, we have got an issue with this file. And this is because of a undercuts in the way of the screw channel in the morphology of our design. If you would pay attention, you would notice that there is on the cervical area an undercut. So the easiest way to fix it is to add some material and fill that undercut or just to drag the material to a side a little bit. I consider it to be silly because these problems are here on Exo in ExoCAD for a pretty long time and it's a little bit silly but that's how it is. Voila, we have fixed an issue. As you can see on those sides where 
the morphology is pretty flat and even there are no issues uh, for software to create the opening for the screw channel let's check the upper jaw same goes for the upper jaw I would highly recommend first of all to generate a solid voxel file because in such areas as here you will definitely have some issues especially interproximal standing uh, screw channels we have prepared a unified voxel file to generate a printing and milling file but I'm almost sure from looking here I, that I can see here an relatively high undercut and in this area it is very likely that we will have some issues with the screw channel and I think here on the lateral tooth on the distal side it will be the same problem I was wrong about the molar the software somehow handled it pretty nicely but we got an issue here next to a canine in interproximal area uh, from the palatinal side and we can fix it the same way as previously by evening out the morphology which is not very smart but this is what you should do if you want to overcome these exocat issues you can either modify it on a free form or just modify it by hand manually adding some material I think we are done I think we it should work it should work let's see if I manage to fix this to fix this issue And we're merging the file, cancel merging. Start merging. And let's see if we are lucky this time. And yes, we're lucky this time. No structural failures, I think, at least for now. Maybe somewhere in interproximal areas between the teeth. Yes, I will have to fix it here manually. Cut, cut it out, this crap. So yes, on many occasions uh, Blender for Dental is performing more accurate, more smoothly. Great job Blender for Dental and hey guys from Exocat you need to fix some, <laughs> some old issues. It should be running much better <laughs> after, after being in, in the market for I don't know over a decade. B4D professionals on the Facebook group we're pointing out that it's the easiest way, which I totally agree, would be just to design a screw holes. So if you will be going this way, choose those screw holes to anatomy and choose it as thin as possible because they will be ruining your modeled anatomies. I would avoid in this case, I wouldn't use them, but if you guys like it quick, you can do it. So you just choose as thin as possible walls and just generate. Ta-da! Not that bad at all. Thank you guys. Hopefully someone will find it helpful. <laughs>